So what else is happening? Well, it's the aftermath of the war, so let's see. Nothing happened until the year 2025. So let's see what happened in this year. Cuba gained their independence in 2025, but is now under democratic influence. In Europe, Ukraine is at war with Moldova over the state of Ismaili or Ismail. The Ukrainians didn't really know it at first. But when they neared Kiev, the Ukrainians knew something was off. So then Moldova got pounded. In South Sudan begins four years of civil war with Sudanese supported rebels against the South Sudanese troops. Sudan succeeds and takes over the country once again. Eritrea now joins Ethiopia as their economy is in tatters and Djibouti follows suit. In Saudi Arabia, they're trying their best to reclaim Yemen, but a stalemate is underway. Oman gives Kassab to the United Arab Emirates. And Russia finally gains back its western part from the United States. And Belarus gains the oblast of Clancy. For the rest of this video, I will be using voiceovers. Hey, Tibet. You wanna join me? Um, just ignore the flag shape. I didn't 
see any Tibet. So this is just flags that I couldn't find. They're just randomized. Uh, sure. All right, thank you. All right, good. I think we need to invade Burma. Burma is a very bad disturbance to my power. Hey, Thailand, India, you got my back? Do I ever? Yeah, sure. All right, let's invade this country. After the war, Burma will be partitioned by India. Thailand with the new name Siam and the Republic of China. Hey, hey, China. Yeah, what do you want? Um, is it okay if I can have um these three provinces right here? No problem. Um, I'll sell it for five million. All right, that's a deal. Hey, uh, Korea, you wanna join me? Yes, my economy is in tatters. I'll gladly join you. Not like 1896, where you pretty much like invaded me for no particular reason at all. But since you're great allies with me, I guess I'll make an approach. Thanks. Alright, there you go. I can't believe it. My land. My people. All of this. Just gone in an instant. All because of those stupid Americans. Well, I can't do anything about it. The U.S. has control over me. Even worse, the Republic of China is driving troops into me. They're what? I feel like I'm becoming too powerful. I will split my country in half. Splitting. Alright, there you go. Hey, Pakistan. My economy is going really low. Can you, uh, unite with me? I mean, if you unite with me... I guess we can. Okay. Oh gosh dang it, they stole the northern part of it.
significant part. Uh, sorry, Pakistan, I hate to break it to you, but, uh, India is invading you right now. They're what? Remember me. Hey, Sri Lanka, you want my southern land? I can't really have control of it. Sure. Oh, what the? There you go. My land, I just can't control it. It just keeps sinking. Uh, does that not really matter? Uh, probably not. Well, it probably does. I'll just keep you for now. North Yemen, you really gotta help me here. Well, I can't. I'm being invaded right now. Well, you gotta help me, you jerk. Sorry, bud, but... Victory. Oman. I know our friendship has not been good this in this alternate world, but I'm sorry I have to do this. Um, not invade Stanistan. Well, North Stanistan. But, uh... Dude, DRC, you're so unstable. I know. It's just if I own, if I have to take control of that one piece of Angola, Cambinda, you know, this one, then I can get control of a lot of oil reserves, and I'll become less unstable. Yeah, but aren't you one of the most? Um, should I say this? Um, less stable countries. Oh, I guess you're right. We have an opening to start an attack in DRC. What, why would you do that? Because I have to connect my colony. There, that's it. You just took my coastline. It was only like two miles. Yeah, I don't really care. I will get my revenge on Indonesia. 
were even thinking about invading me. Well, it was off camera, but still. Crikey, mate, they really, they nearly reached down under. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, this desert is so hard to go by. Good thing we're prepared for me. Go, emus, go! I will participate. I need my land back. Oh, phew. You have completely eradicated him. We have gained control of Iraq and Iran for the past 15 years. However, we've still not granted their independence, and we promised their independence in 2025. Oh well. They'll probably rise up. So I guess we should keep them under control for now. I'm still salty about Chile making me a landlocked country. I have to take action immediately. Peru, Argentina, you win? Oh, I bet I am. Sure. Sure, let's defeat this jerk. Yay, thank you so much, guys. Now I have a coastline. I'm so happy. Hey, it's 
Hey, it's good to help. Hmm. How about I gain some of uh, Paraguay's northern land? Ah, uh, you're always welcome to do that. I mean, it is an alternate world, so whatever. You really need that land anyway? Uh, to be honest, no. Hmm. After taking parts of Venezuela in the treaty, I think I would go for Brazil. That's a big step. Where are you planning on invading? Uh, probably parts of the Amazon. Well, go for it. Thanks. is invading me <laughs> Can I get in on this? We have successfully invaded Mexico. What do you do that for? Oh, sorry. Here, let me give the lamb back to you. I wasn't really meant to do that. Then why did you do it? Oh, it was an accident. I'm sorry. I sent troops to your area. Oh, okay. Hey, wait, wait a second. What? You just invaded my home state. What, Michigan? Yeah. Well, I'll let it slide for this time. I mean, you are one of my favorite countries, so. Alright, so you want to know the top superpowers of the world? I'll tell ya. Alright, so. Fifth is... France. Fourth. Great Britain. Third. India. Second. The Republic of China. And first. The United States. Other powerful nations are Co 
Columbia. Brazil. Saudi Arabia. Canada. North Stanistan, South Stanistan, the last one is Russia. Salute!